in Raspberry Baked Alaska's where the result is a total wow. I'm making these incredible Raspberry Baked Alaska starts with pound cake on the bottom and ice cream and sorbet in the middle and then it's covered with meringue and they're real showstoppers. What I have is six slices of pound cake. They're about a half an inch thick. I mean, you can make your own pound cake, but why would you? And I'm gonna take a two and a half inch cutter and I'm gonna cut around out of each slice of pound cake. Just discard the edges. Okay, next is the ice cream. So I want a round scoop that's half raspberry sorbet and half vanilla ice cream. So I do half a scoop with vanilla and then I just fill the rest of it with raspberry sorbet. I mean, how easy is that? I love raspberries and cream, so this is a good combination. See, the scoop and the cake are just the same diameter, so it makes it look really nice. Okay, that's one. Doesn't that look great? I'm gonna do five more and put them on a sheet pan. Okay, that's all six. Doesn't that look great? So I'm just gonna freeze them for 30 minutes just until they get nice and hard. And in the meantime, I'm gonna make Swiss meringue to put on the outside. It's so dramatic. There are two steps to the Swiss meringue. First, I'll heat eight extra large egg whites in a heat-proof bowl set over a pan of simmering water. Add one and a half cups of sugar and whisk the mixture almost constantly until the sugar is dissolved and it reads 120 degrees on a candy thermometer. Then for step two, I'll pour the mixture into the bowl of an electric mixer fitted with a whisk attachment. Add two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of cream of tartar, half a teaspoon of salt, and beat it on medium speed for one minute. Then I'll turn up the speed and whisk it on high for five minutes until the egg whites form stiff, glossy peaks. So you take meringue and you put it on the outside. And I, this is my technique. I just take a little offset spatula just like this and just cover the entire thing with meringue. Just keep adding meringue. Make sure it's completely covered. Because remember, I'm gonna bake this. Okay, so you want big peaks, just like that, because that's what's gonna kind of brown when you put them in the oven. So now I'm gonna bake these, really hot temperature, 500 degrees for two and a half to three minutes. You wanna watch them really carefully. And in the meantime, I'm gonna get the sauce for the baked Alaskas. So this is my fresh raspberry sauce. And the best part is, one of the key ingredients is store-bought. It's really straightforward to make. I put six ounces of fresh raspberries in a saucepan over medium heat, added half a cup of sugar, quarter of a cup of water, brought it to a boil, lowered the heat, and simmered it for four minutes. Next, I poured the cooked raspberries into a food processor, added a cup of store-bought seedless raspberry jam, tablespoon of raspberry liqueur, and processed it until it was smooth. Then I poured it into a container and put the lid on. So the jam adds so much flavor to this and texture, it's great. Okay, baked Alaska should be done. Whoa, how gorgeous are these, woo! And a baked Alaska right on the top. Now, how gorgeous does that look? I mean, it's really restaurant food at home, but with store-bought ingredients, it's really easy.